and you find people with levels of zeal as though if in one week God does not anoint them they would destroy the whole world ten years later you will see some of those people they are not even born again ah, you stumble across a brother who was on fire when he was on campus what suddenly happened if you are fearful and you do not have the staying power you can go back can I tell you this in this journey of thy kingdom come in this end time God is not forcing men there are men who will actually say I am satisfied being born again I don't want to be useful the Bible calls them vessels of wood and of clay they are all in the house but in a great house there are categories of vessels all of them are called vessels but there are some that are unto honor there are some that are unto dishonor these are the vessels unto dishonor if you feel you are tired of ministry after four years of seeming lack of results and you no longer can stand upon the confidence of what you heard go back home go back home does not mean you backslided go back home means God can replace you with someone else can I tell you this I assure you that in this end time there will be replacements there will be replacements there are people who out of their volition will come and say Lord you know what I am tired I've given you what I think is my best but this Christianity thing is not going anywhere I remain satisfied that at least I will make heaven but as far as being at the center of your program is concerned I am not interested and God will respect their will so don't be surprised that you can see people on fire today being used mightily by God and tomorrow you'll find out that it looks like that fire has gone down they are still Christians but they were part of that 22,000 but if you truly came for this conference you must obtain grace from God to pass that test and Lord I'm not going anywhere how big is bowing down all of the days of my life how big is bowing down all of the days of my life how big he serving you all of the days of my life how big he serving you all of the days of my life that I'll be here worshiping all of the days of my life. I'll be here worshiping all of the days of my life. That I'll be here loving you. It's all of the days of my life I'll be loving you All of the days of my life Listen, when I started with God, I bounced the bridge behind me No going back There is no possibility of going back I've lost my ability to say no to God it's an ability that I surrendered at the altar. Can I tell you this? The move of God that is coming, just because you are aware that God is using men, does not mean you will be part of it. It will take men who are bold, bold enough to be controversial and yet comfortable, bold enough to lay down their reputation and be comfortable, bold enough to be called stupid and yet comfortable bold enough to be said something is wrong with you we are sure you are a loser bold enough to take the mockery bold enough to take the shame test number one for that army is the test of courage the test of conviction there are men and women of God who got into ministry because all their contemporaries were in ministry there are men and women who got into ministry 
because everybody around them was a Christian and they felt obliged by reason of relationship but can I tell you in the formation of this army there will be a test of conviction please give us that scripture again Judges 7 verse 3 a prophetic blueprint to how God's God's prophetic recruit system whoever is fearful and you go listen to me whoever is afraid please verse 3 let him turn back right now because there is a realm you get into there is no turning back ah. I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning so now a journey that started with one man evolved to 32,000 people by the sounding of the shofar now the first test of diligence of conviction of courage reduces them by 22,000 Give us verse 4. Let's hurry up now. But the Lord said, The people are still too many. He said, Bring them down to the water and I will test them for you there. Then it will be that of whom I say to you, This one shall go with you. The same shall go. And whosoever I say unto you, this one shall not go with you that means just because you pass the test of conviction and courage still does not mean you will make it there is yet one grand test and I'm, I'm about to reveal it to you that is my assignment here tonight when I do that I will pray for you and we'll begin the prayer session verse 5 very quickly what is the test he brought the people down to the water you have to understand that these people had been climbing a mountain they were thirsty they were tired he says now i'm about to bring one grand test bring them to the water and the lord said to gideon everyone who laps from the water with his tongue as a dog laps you shall set apart by himself likewise everyone who gets down on his knees to drink i show you a mystery verse 6 and the number of those who lapped putting their hand to their mouth was 300 men but all the rest of the people got down to their knees to drink water my goodness and the lord said unto gideon by the 300 men who lapped I will save you and deliver the Midianites into your hand let all the other people go every man to his place two tests that everybody who will be used by God in this end time must pass through number one is a test of conviction a test of courage a test of determination to go all the way but the second is the grand test please look up the Lord said this one Gideon I will test them myself and he brought them and said drink and he was watching their attitude in the presence of water please look forward look look up please water to a testy man represents comfort water to a testy man represents that which your heart seeks the desires of your heart he said now that I've tested your conviction I need to test your heart but I cannot test your heart absence to your desire I will bring you before what you really want and watch your reaction there and so he said let the people become testy when they were so testy he said now bring them where there is water and watch how they behave watch this there are those who stood and laughed like dogs there are those who knelt there those who knelt there 
were those who became distracted because of the comfort of the water now that i found water i don't want to leave this place again and since my feet is my instrument of motion i kneel down by camping there and he said you've missed it just because i opened the door for you just because i brought you fame just because i made you the head over your family instead of lapping like a dog still with that sense of vision you have camped around your success and forgotten that there is an agenda bigger than your success a test that everyone who wants to be used by God in this end time can I tell you fame is like that water comfort money all the things that your heart desires I understand your passion when you are poor I understand your passion when you do not have a crowd I understand your passion when the nations are not placing a demand but in the presence of greatness can you still be focused on what brought you to the journey Gideon these men are too many I want to take glory out of this mission so one last test what's their attitude in the presence of water water represents hope water represents comfort I know you fasted and prayed while things were not going well I know you fasted and prayed because of obvious attacks but right now you have a protocol that is moving you around right now you have the luxury and the privilege every system and every structure has accredited you can I tell you this look at me I came here with a prophetic message do not fail the test that made only 1% of the people who started that journey. Only 1% or less than that. Out of 32,000 people, ladies and gentlemen, it's hard to be used by God. Oh, don't let anyone deceive you. Being available is only step one. You must be usable. There is a screening that God himself, the way he screens you is not to say, my son, give me your heart. The way he screens you is to bring everything your heart desires before you and says let me see your attitude but there are people here tonight who will stand before fame stand before anointing stand before ministry and sing my treasure my priority who can compare to you Truly great is the measure of your royalty. O morning star, you truly are everything. Yes, sir. There is no man born of a woman who will escape this test. You cannot pray it away. This is what Jesus meant when he said, Can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism? There are many people in our generation who see God using many people mightily and think they are just lucky. They just love God. No, sir. There is no luck in this thing. The price for life is death. The price for all of God is all of you. Bring them before water and watch their attitude. For those who stand to just lap like a dog, they are saying, Lord, thank you for the prosperity, but I can't come here because I'm, I, I was going somewhere before I met prosperity. The journey was not prosperity. I was going somewhere before I met fame. The goal was not fame. I was going somewhere before I met the anointing. The goal was not the anointing. So not fame, not the anointing would distract me. I remain focused. And he said, Gideon, find those men. Watch them. It takes time to find those men. You don't find them in one day. Just because you were exposed to wealth one day and you were still fasting. No, it takes time. Time will prune the purity of your motive. Can I tell you this? God is very patient. Because patience is a virtue that forces deception to reveal itself. 
one thing with deception is that it cannot suffer long if your motive is wrong eventually there is a cost of followership let's round up Luke chapter 9 from verse 56 hmm. Luke chapter 9 please give it to us quickly media Luke chapter 9 from verse 56 for the son of man did not come to destroy men's lives but to save them and they went to another village the Bible says we're reading to the last verse now it happened as they sojourned on the road that someone said to him Lord I will follow you wherever you go here was the response of Jesus foxes have holes do you know what that means they have where they camp and don't go anywhere again birds of the air have nests when they find nests they don't go any other place that means out of this crowd in this conference if we are to walk based on that ratio please my prayer is that let me be wrong in that ratio now let it not be that only about one percent of the people listening to me now will pass this second test it is God's desire to use everyone who is available but there is a test followership comes with a cost with the 300 men plus Gideon God brought victory for himself now I want to pray for you and then when I pray for you we are going to get into a prayer session for the next 40 minutes Lord prepare me sanctuary pure and holy tried and true we thanks I'll be a living sanctuary you. Hear me? I want to make a quick altar call here right now. There are people you came for this conference and you're saying, Apostle, if I'm to vet my life based on the sincerity and the purity of heart, I can honestly say that I have not even answered that call. I'm not even among the 32,000 people. You are saying I want to make it right with Jesus. We have just one minute for you. Wherever you are, you've heard the teaching. There is no need cajoling you. I want you to leave your seat and quickly please come and stand here. I will only count one to three. Afterwards we'll be seated. There's no reason to be ashamed. Run to Jesus. I will count one to three and we're done. One. Let's celebrate them as they come. Two. That you are coming to Jesus to say, I discern what you are doing, oh God. And I don't want to waste my life living a purposeless, visionless life I am ready for Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lift your right hand, all of you here. I appreciate you for the boldness and the courage to come to Jesus. It is never too late for as long as you are alive to make it right with Jesus. And I don't want you to do what you are doing just emotionally. Let it be from the depth of your heart. If you are coming, run quickly and come and join them. Say this prayer after me. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus. One more time. Say, Lord Jesus. I believe in you that you are the son of God tonight like Gideon and the other men of the armies I've heard that trumpet and I have come to you take me mold me use me for your glory I declare based on the authority of the word of God that I have the life of God I receive you as Savior Lord and King I declare that I go forward ever and backward never 
I am a child of God. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for these precious ones. They have come to you responding to that call. You are giving them a new beginning. And Lord, I pray based on the authority of scripture that everything that represents the power of sin, Satan, hell and the grave, let it be broken over their life. In the name of Jesus, I declare you recipients of eternal life. And I pray that the Lord himself will take you from glory to glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Do they return to their seats or are they counselors? Okay, now here's what I want you to do for me. They are counselors and I want you to just follow them 